what is ACL okay the table level access the CRUD operations on table level will be controlled by ACL okay then what is ACL what are the things are there in the ACL okay how you define ACL when you define something ACL then how the system will take it up all these details are there in these two videos okay this is one of the very important okay and very easy also don't take it as very serious very heavier okay, it's very lighter concept but we already seen the basics of ACL now this is an extension clear my everyone yes no okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay please take this one also because this is one of the very important topic okay, in ACLs we get some standard questions what is ACL to do the ACLs what role is required okay security underscore admin role okay and when you are defining ACL how you can define a ACL there are three ways you can define a ACL using role using script and using role script and dun, 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 dun. what is another one ma? condition okay condition role and script there are three ways you can define an ACL okay so see one we will see one of the example here okay so take delete operation on incident table okay who can delete it generally who can delete an incident ma? admin admin right apart from admin who else are, who else can delete it itl admin itl ITIL admin. So how the restriction is controlling? Okay, there is an ACL where in the ACL on incident table with an operation delete is controlled for admins and for a role ITL underscore admin. Okay, so now here how an ACL can be defined using roles, okay, using a condition builder, using a script. There are three things will be there. There are three ways you can define an ACL. Clear ma this part? Yes or no? Okay. And one more point here is like this point. Okay. Now, as per the definition of ACL, here you mention only ITL underscore admin role. Okay. So by this definition, we can say that only ITL admin people can delete an incident okay but how admins can delete it because this is checked when this is checked admins also get the access to do this particular operation you understood this point ma yes yes sir. okay so these are the basic things here basic questions okay and in these two videos you will be seeing very deeper way okay All sir, condition yes, sir. Now this is in edit, not editable mode, okay? If you just elevate it, then you will get it, okay? Give me one second. So now I elevated my user account and then go to this ACL. Okay, now you see this is enabled because I have uh, elevated it. Now condition, okay, role and script. Okay. You understood everyone? Yes. Okay. Everyone, is that clear, Ma? Hmm. Okay. Now, the advanced part of ACL is, I, I, I will be giving one scenario. Okay. This is little tricky and little important. Okay. Let's say, try to keep this scenario, Ma. This is very, very, very important scenario. Okay. And even you can play with this scenario in live environment also. So, uh, there is a table consider like mm, 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 okay leave request table is there okay the leave request table there is one operation maybe any any one of the operation CRUD operation okay in the CRUD maybe create operation or maybe delete operation take rare one delete operation is there okay 
so who can delete the leave request management application that is the question so for that we created an acl okay and we defined nothing here we defined nothing here okay we didn't define anything here okay condition we didn't mention role we didn't mention but we can write some script here okay the requirement is i want to control the uh, behavior of acl based on some external option what does it mean you see here acl delete okay delete record okay so this the functionality of this one can be controlled by external thing what does it mean is okay let's say you are a user okay and you have an option here option you go to that particular one and you change true or false okay if you say the option value to true then people start deleting it if you say false then system will not allow anyone to delete it you are understanding this requirement ma acl is acl okay you define something here okay maybe you may call this option okay something like you write something option okay if option equal to true okay then what it is saying if script answer true okay so let's write like this so that means if it is true then you are allowing acl to do some activity delete operation okay else false answer false so now the option whatever the value of the option which is there outside of this acl somewhere it is there i will tell you where it is if the value is true then this acl will start allowing delete if option is false then acl will stop doing the delete operation for everyone you understood now you understood ma so where is this this option i am coming, coming to that okay but this is my requirement is that clear everyone is that clear this is my requirement i want to create one acl and the delete operation can be controlled by an external option okay that external option related things i am calling from here is that clear yes no only one person got it remaining yes sir remaining people yes sir okay so now where you can define this option is you can define this option in system property okay create one system property here i will show you some system properties system property sir okay so create one system property okay so let's say option okay and type of, of the option is true or false and then right now okay just give false here by default okay and who can edit this option is just give someone okay itl people can edit it okay admins can edit it okay i, I agent admin can edit it so you can just give who are the audience can edit this particular thing okay so let's say okay this role can be they can change it they can change it so this now whatever the role that i am adding here everyone can have an access to change the value of system property all these people can come here and then change the value to true or false okay so this value can be changed whenever wherever you want it correct yes or no everyone yes or no yes. all these people yes. can change this value if they want it to true they can change it to true if they want it to false they can change it to false correct yes sir yes now if i change this value then it is changing something here if that value of system property is true then this acl deletion operation will be okay true it will allow if that option is false it will also don't allow anyone to delete it 
okay this point is clear now yes okay so now if this is clear so here you have a system property okay option the name of the system property is option okay how you read the system property from script okay so how you read the system property from script is gs dot get property of the name of the property option if the option this is the property name okay now you see this one okay now go to the table of acl okay now see where are the places how many places they are calling the system properties okay script if you are feeling that this is little heavy maybe you just see later okay once you see those two videos okay but i'm just giving one important scenario okay condition is direct okay and remaining two things are direct but script now you to understand script this is how you need to understand script right so gs there are few other things are there but do you see something called gs get get property just try to directly property okay so gs get property of com dot snc dot app templates enabled role this one is there now this is a property name okay so if you see here maybe just take this one okay so delete who can delete this record on this table okay the the, the acl definition okay who can delete it maybe a role and okay again they write they written the role here and if this property value is false okay why it said like this one okay just to see the property to understand okay so see here this property is there now right now the property is true okay so now i will change this value to false if i change the value to false now then the delete operation the behavior of delete operation will change it will not allow to delete you are understanding ma i don't know why they written this format like this okay just give me a second where is our uh, where is our where is our this one incident one here gs dot get property of key space alt okay give me a second i need to see the pro i need to see the how to use that now okay so here how they used false true everywhere they are using like this and here they directly used it okay hmm. i think this is the format okay they everywhere they are using same way okay but the value is true they are passing the value like this okay value something like false okay equal to true they are passing like this clear and this one is not required i think you understood ma everyone yes sir now what i did what what how we did this one you understood yes no no you didn't understand any set to false we are making it true or else uh... okay let it be ma let's make it simple okay get property of property name equal to true something like this okay don't see the format if it is if the value of system property is true then you allow to delete it if the system property value is false then no one can delete it you understood now yes or no yes sir. so if i want to restrict something like i want in the entire instance i don't want anyone to delete any record on this table so i will just come here and then make this one false i don't go and change anything on acl level acl cannot be changed by anyone only admins that to uh, admins with security underscore admin people only can do but remaining people even cannot touch it so how can we control these kind of things from external then this is an option is that clear now now you understood little deeper ma 
condition role that is direct straight forward but using script you can use these kind of scenarios right yes no yes sir, yes, sir. even though the user don't have the script on the script admin also can delete the right? the script right? see here you don't want to come here and then change the script okay let's say you want to allow the deletion what you do you go to system property and change this value to true yes sir. okay and you want to off this delete option in the entire platform level you change this one to false to change the system property value all these people can do do you have anything to do with the acl change now yes no Correct. We don't need to touch anything about ACL here, ma'am. ACL is defined, and ACL is depend on this value of this particular one. If it is true, then only it will allow to delete. If it is false, it don't allow. So true or false, you are controlling from system property. It is very simple, na. You come and play here. If you want to make the deletion operation, make this one to true. Okay. If they don't want it, then make this one to false. That's it. System property, anyone can open it and edit it. Correct. So read. Who can read this one? Yes, all these people can read. Who can write it? All these people can edit it. All these people, any, everyone have the access to edit it. Correct. You are understanding what I am trying to say, ma? Yes. No. Now, any, anyone who have these roles can open the system property and change this value. If they change this value to true. anyone maybe pe people can start deleting the records from this table if it is false no one can able to delete it you got it everyone yes sir yes okay so this is when one of the very important point in acl okay remaining and all jujube but you just go through these two videos then you will get little deeper idea about acl creating of acl table level okay For every table, there are four ACLs for create, read, write, update. Okay, then those interview questions under. Fine, ma.